What's up guys? I'm Sid. I'm Brian. And we are Ultra Fork. And normally we show you what to eat, but today we're gonna show you how to cook. We just wrapped up our little burger hunt series. We went to 10 different burger spots around town. A lot. A lot of burgers. A lot of burgers. I almost don't even really want to eat a burger, but... I do. I want to eat all the burgers. I'm American, so we're going to make some burgers. We're going to make some dank burgers. We got our meat from Arcadia Meat Market. Shout out Arcadia. We picked up some buns from Burger Factory. Yeah. Well, a lot of buns. Too many buns. And uh, we came here, and now we just put it all together. So we hope you guys enjoy. Yeah. Let's go. have a chuck roast. This is pretty lean with some fat on it. Uh, you're looking for like an 80 or 75% to 25% uh, lean to fat ratio. So here you have a mixture of this meat and this fat and you're gonna blend, uh, grind this all together. We're gonna mix it and that's gonna be the start for the burger. Okay guys, um, I don't know any jokes but I'll be here all week. So now, <laughs> now we're just gonna grind the burgers. So turn this guy on, add your stuff slowly. Two boys pushing me. Grind it. Alright guys, we are on to the onions next. These are going to be caramelized onions that we're making for the burgers. I don't like caramelized onions, honestly. I don't really like them, so there's that. Good and luck. it's hot. Add butter. You melt it. Don't burn it. Burn butter sucks. So now the butter is hot, it's getting brown, and we're just gonna toss the onions in. You hear that sizzle? That's what you want. Hold your pork house sauce. We're doing mayo, ketchup, a little Worcestershire, chili powder. Grilled onions from earlier, and some salt. I've heard people say that too much of anything is not good for you, baby. Okay, so we are making the burgers now. We got the meat mixture. We grind it ourselves, we mixed it. And so now you just wanna let this get room temp. You don't ever wanna add cold meat to a hot pan. You're just gonna fuck it all up. So make sure your meat's not cold, it's like close to room temperature. You're gonna leave it in the bowl. You're gonna put it in the hot pan. You wanna hear the sizzle. And then you're just gonna salt the shit out of it. Now we're just gonna press the burger down. You wanna make sure the burger is big enough to where it won't be smaller than the bun. You want some of the meat hanging off the bun. That's kind of what everyone wants. Nothing's more sad when you got a lot of a lot of bread and like no meat. Like, nobody likes it. So now we're just gonna let this chill. Let it caramelize on the other side. We're gonna flip it one time, add our onions and our cheese, and it's done. Super easy. So next you're gonna take your, uh, your house made sauce and you're gonna go end to end. Make sure all the sauce covers the whole bun. Keep 
Here we have the meat and the caramelized onions are underneath the cheese that's been melted. We're literally just gonna put this on the burger. I'm gonna eat this. Fucking dank. And there you have a super dank burger. Give that to Mira. Mira! Yeah. I made this burger. Yeah. This is the burger. What's left of it? It was really good. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys take all the steps that we provided for you and like you guys do them the way we showed you. Or you do not with it. it. Or don't. If you don't do any of it, just go eat a burger off the places that we have on our list. So yeah, if you don't want to cook, you know, go go buy a six dollar burger from somewhere else. Or make them your own. And have a good time guys. Just remember, eat carefully and yeah. always, always hold your fork. Hold your fork.